Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we're still out here in the mountains of NC, and uh, we're flipping some stones along this uh, wooded hillside down here. There's a creek down there, and uh, underneath one of them was this uh, pretty unique species of lizard. This is called the uh, coal skink, or uh, Plasteodon um, anthra canatus. I'm not sure. Uh, it's a very complicated scientific name, but uh, uh, this is a uh, adult size, I think. The tail is broke off upon capture unfortunately and it's probably about six inches long but uh... it'll grow back just like with all cold, uh... skink species but uh... Um, the coal skink is uh... actually a threatened or endangered species in north carolina i think they're threatened actually and um... the difference between these and uh, other skink species is that the stripes do not go onto the face as in a uh, five line skink and they also go down the tail and there's only four st uh, stripes on it unlike the stripes that are on the back of other species as you can see the back is plain and the sides have four stripes. Um, this is a male because as you see there's a lot of red coloration on the head and this is breeding season for them. And uh, these species are actually pretty unique because uh, when um, in their habitat they're found basking on rocks but they only bask on certain rocks and uh, so they're pretty much found only in certain areas but uh, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty excited to see this skink. Um, I've never seen one before. This is the last skink species I've needed to find in North Carolina, and so I found all of them already, so I'm pretty excited. Um, uh, pretty unique, uh, you know, they eat uh, insects and stuff, and uh, like other skinks, um, well, what's unique also about this one is that uh, I think other skinks do it, but um, they, uh, when they're encountered near water, they actually dive into the water and uh, submerge themselves, but uh, um, on the the difference between this one and other skinks also is that on the chin, it only has one post mental, which is a scale on the uh, very tip of the, the jaw, or lower jaw. Um, it's pretty uh, um, minute, so it's kind of hard to tell the species, but uh, they're, per they're very different looking. So, I mean, those that are familiar with skinks, you know, they look kind of different. The, uh, the body, the pattern, the colorations, it's just all different, so pretty cool. I'm going to take some pictures and let this uh, be beautiful animal go. Um, just very excited, you know, a lifer for me, so very cool, very cool. I'm excited. And uh, coal skinks usually only get about four or five inches long. This is an adult specimen. You see he's got some uh, little black flakes on the back of the scales. Pretty cool species. Very beautiful. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to let the coal skink go under the same rocks we found him under. There he goes. See you guys later.